Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video I will share some information about OSWP exam. So OSWP also known as Offensive Security Wireless Professional aims to equip the uh, learners with Wi-Fi pen testing skills and this is also called as Pen 210 and I can see it's a foundational exam and it's nothing wrong it's still a foundational exam i'll tell you why in the upcoming part of this video and coming to the syllabus uh, it starts with giving the intro of how wi-fi networks work and and it quickly dives into the different wi-fi encryption protocols like wep wpa2 uh, in which they cover psk appreciate key as well as a wi-fi management it's like uh, which you use in your offices and colleges where you have a radius server uh, to provide the authentication so more over that in the other parts of the video or other videos and also it gives you a good information about wireshark aircrack ng and also then cracking the hashes so there is nothing a very high level on cracking hashes it's just some basic tools and things and uh, there are some wps networks as well as well as you will also learn how to attack the rogue access points or sorry create rogue access points and perform evil twin attacks so you can learn more about the syllabus from this particular landing page and i also want to mention that the OSWP exam is included within a uh, membership certificate uh, like uh, memberships like learn one or learn unlimited so i recently took learn one subscription so it actually gave me the os wp exam for free and i think it costs around 799 dollars to attempt this exam but i wouldn't suggest you to pay on that like if you are getting this certification for free through this any of this annual subscription then go ahead and give it but don't exclusively buy for buy to do this certification and that being said uh, let's start into how the course work was and how offset did so the first thing uh, there is very little information so compared to that of oscp oscp was very vast uh, information like it covers from the bits and bytes to like you know complete uh, code kind of thing like a complete architecture but here the syllabus is very less you know you only deal with uh, certain uh, very limited number of concepts and there is no wpa3 at the moment because uh, you know the architecture is kind of very different for that so you'll only deal with the basic encryption methodologies like wep wps wpa psk and mgt or management networks and uh, one thing that you need to note down is the course doesn't provide any kind of challenge labs that you see in oscp or other certifications like if you don't know oscp or other certifications like osep they do provide their own challenge labs where you can practice the skills that you're learning within the coursework but here there is nothing like that so how to prepare for that is there is a very good alternative called as wi-fi challenge lab which is free uh, which is available for free you just need to register or log in and uh, once you go to readme since you are dealing with wi-fi networks you should be very careful uh, like like not getting uh, into any legal issues by hacking into some real networks and all but this wi-fi challenge lab provide uh, if you click on read me you can see uh, they do provide their own virtual machine which has a lot of virtual wi-fi networks uh, ranging from w uh, like i can show you the challenges uh, maybe a walkthrough for example so this walkthrough is really good like it covers everything from reconnaissance to hacking the open wi-fi networks wep wpa psk wpa3 and some other uh, type of wi-fi net uh, wi-fi networks uh, so i think this thing uh, this wi-fi challenge lab should be sufficient for you to pass the exam and the uh, only thing is you have to install this particular virtual machine uh, onto your machine and onto your host machine and then and then only you can perform these attacks and this is a really good uh, place to practice all the things that you're learning within the course and also there are certain restrictions on the wi-fi uh, on the exam part like uh, we generally use tools like air Gideon or uh, some other automated tools like in general but uh, as always offset doesn't allow any kind of automated tools so 
there is a very strict borderline for that so if you are kind of curious about things just reach out to the team uh, help team and they'll help you out but try to stick to as manual approach as possible and i think uh, i only prepared this wi challenge lab if you are following me on my live streams i have done a couple of live streams covering this wi challenge lab and all so I, ha I haven't done all of them to be honest i only covered uh this open networks wep psk and mgt so that's all mgt recon and mgt that's all and I, I haven't done wpa3 because wpa3 is not involved in the syllabus at the moment so yeah and also take a good note so i think uh and one more thing while doing uh wi-fi challenge lab is like in some of this for some of these challenges uh the walkthrough involves usage of some automated tools but you shouldn't use automated tools uh at least for this exam um this is one thing and coming to the exam so exam is a four hour exam you only have like four hours it's not like a typical 24 hours you have four hours for the a lab environment or the exam environment and then you have 24 hours to submit the report so in the exam you will be given three challenge networks in which one is one network is uh, a mandatory to uh, to hack so it's definitely you should do that or else you'll not pass the exam and in the rest two uh, in the remaining two networks you can hack any one of them and obtain the flag so if you solve two then you should be good and uh, you will be passed at the end but make sure you do the mandatory one first because you know mandatory is mandatory right and also uh, try to learn everything you know like learn wep wp everything that is covered within the exam uh, within the syllabus or uh, the lecture uh, try to do every network which is uh, mimicking those things like you can practice everything within this wi-fi challenge lab and that should be sufficient for the exam and take a very good notes because you will be using a lot of commands uh, here and there and uh, try to just dump it everything within like uh, or save your history within your kali or something and it should do the uh, trick and also how the exam environment is like uh, since you are dealing with wi-fi networks again so the exam environment or the offsec provides you an rtp access into a separate kali machine and that kali machine or the attacker machine is covered uh, is connected to the network that you are targeting and that's how it goes and that's a very pretty straightforward approach and uh, if you practice if you go through all the course material and if you practice all those from the wi-fi challenge lab you should be good to go and it won't take much time to prepare as well because the concepts are very uh limited here uh at most if you sit for like two weeks you should pass this exam easily and always you also have to write a report at the end but for report you do have 24 hours so only for uh you know for the uh practical part you have four hours and 24 hours for the whole exam i mean uh, for the whole report and coming to uh, my experience the exam environment sometimes kind of uh, uh, it's not too good you know i had to reset a network a couple of times uh, because i don't know because these wi-fi networks are kind of virtualized maybe kind of dockerized so there might be some issues when running them like for example if i do some kind of uh, aero dump ng i had to see all the connected clients i did get a lot of uh, uh, differences within the clients connected every time i reset the machine so you know it's always best practice whenever you're doing aero dump ng to I write it into a cap file just don't do don't miss that out i did that and i had to reset the machine couple of times to get the same handshake again so that is one thing and i also feel the lab environment is not uh well in my opinion compared to the top um, oscp thing uh it, there are a lot of issues here and there so try to be very careful and try to take screenshots and uh you know uh document the uh throughout your process and and for me uh i got three challenge uh, three networks and i was able to do all the three of them only one lab which was mandatory uh and required me to do a lot of uh research so that things worked for me 
uh, but apart from that everything the exam environment and the flag process everything is pretty straightforward and uh, you will not find any rabbit holes that is what i expect uh, that is what i experienced in my attempt but don't know what happens in the future but uh, the exam process is very straightforward you just connect to a network and you get the flag that's all and uh, this is my uh, uh certificate if you want and uh, to be honest in my opinion this is a very good certification if you want to learn how you can attack wi-fi networks and all and also one of my suggestion is don't buy for this don't buy this certification exclusively but if you're getting with any kind of learn one or any yearly subscription just go ahead and do it this is a very easy certification it takes like a, two weeks or max if, if you put max efforts you can do it within one week as well and uh, and also this is a really good certification there are there aren't much uh wi-fi and testing related certifications so if uh if you want to give it a go just go it and it's a really good certification as well at the end and i hope i covered everything uh but if you still have any questions uh do do let me know in the comments i'll try to answer them and really thank you for watching this video till the end. This is Satvik signing off. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye.